how to get Master Minecraft on a Mac. That's what we're going to be showing you in this video. Now, first things first, you need to download some maps. Now, there's tons of maps out there, hundreds, thousands of maps. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to download a few, and we're also going to be showing you how to install them all on Mac OS. Before we install these maps, though, how to ask our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Host, you can go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much, we host every Minecraft server we have on them, and you can easily add your custom maps to an Apex server and play them with your friends. Starting a server on a Mac is extremely difficult. Apex makes it easy, and like I said, you can easily add your custom maps to that server and play those with your friends so go check it out first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex now one thing i will say is that this has been the same for about the last 10 20 minecraft versions a very long time and so because of that um it's important to know that most likely no matter when you're watching this in the future it will work on your Mac. Um, even if it's not the current Mac OS that's out, it's probably gonna work, but we do update these videos once every year, just in case, and if that's the case, and this is in 2024, go look for that video, because it's probably out, and you should go watch that one. But nevertheless, if we go to our website here, this is the second link in the description down below, we have a list of the best Minecraft maps, and we have the versions listed here for them. Let's go ahead and download Radiant City Official, and then we'll also scroll down here and grab a uh, quick puzzle map, for example, um, because I like puzzle maps. Now, one of the things is these aren't necessarily updated to the most recent version of Minecraft. We're going to show you how to deal with that in-game, but you can go back and play older versions of Minecraft as well, and again, the installation process is exactly the same, so don't have to worry about that. When you do click on a map on the website, it will take you to a download page. Now, CurseForge currently looks like this, and you can kind of download easier because it looks like this, but I'm going to show you what to do when it changes in the future. There's currently a beta version of CurseForge, so come to the right-hand side, scroll down, and then you'll have this Minecraft 119 section, or a list of the different versions if it's currently not the most recent version. It might be Minecraft 1.20. When you're here, just click on this file, right? Click on it. It will take you to a page like this, and there'll be an install button here. There'll be a little arrow next to that. Click on the install button and click download file. Now for us, that download button is right here, but I'm kind of telling you this because Unfortunately, I can't seem to access it on a Mac, but on PC, there's a beta version out, and it is completely different. But uh, let's go ahead and click download there, and it will begin downloading after a few seconds on CurseForge. Now, not every map is on CurseForge. Some are on other websites. For example, Minecraft Maps is a very popular one. And uh, on Minecraft Maps, you just want to scroll down and click the Download Map button here, and the map will begin downloading after a few seconds. A lot easier. You can also find some information about the map and things like that. But now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and both of these are going to be found in our downloads folder. So go ahead and click on that and click on open in finder. Now there's something we need to do to prepare these maps to be installed. If you just drag and drop them into Minecraft as is, they may not work. Now it's automatically unzipped them for us here. You may have a zip file. If you do have a zip file like that, just go ahead and double click on it. When you do, it will unzip right like so, as you can see. But uh, it automatically unzipped for us. Cool little Mac OS feature. Now at this point though, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And if you see this right here, you're actually good to go. So as you can see, we have data, data packs, entities, all of this stuff. If you don't have all these files, that's okay. You should just have a few of them. And if you do have that, I would recommend just going ahead and dragging this to your desktop because that's gonna make sure we know that's done. Next up, we have a Radiant City here, and if we open this one up, it's also correct, but let's assume that it's not. So if you open up Radiant City and you had something like this, it wouldn't be correct, right? And what do I mean like this? Well, one second. This right here, if it was just another folder, you'd want to go into that folder until you then see this. I've seen this be two or three folders deep, so you want to go through all these folders until you see some of these. Dem1, Dem-1 ones are popular, Region, Player Data, Level.Dat, any of these are fine, right? As soon as you see any of those, you're good to go. Then go ahead and click back up here and then make sure we drag and drop this to our desktop. Now, before we completely install these maps, I would recommend opening these folders one more time and making sure you do see some of these folders and files here. If you do, you are good to go. So we've got that one and that one. So we're good. Now let's go ahead and get them installed. To do this, we wanna open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, it's actually kind of simple. All we've gotta do is once the Minecraft launcher is open, click on installations up here at the top. Then click on any of these installations. And then once you're on this page, you can hover over latest release or really any installation you have here. You'll have this folder right here appear. Click on that folder and then boom, that opens up your Minecraft 
settings, if you will. This is all of your Minecraft data. There's resource packs are here, saves, shaders packs, if you've installed Optifine or a shaders mod in the past. But we want to go ahead and open up the saves world here, right? So from this, a lot of stuff, you might need to scroll down, but click on saves. Then what we want to do is just drag and drop the maps that we want to install, in our case, upwards in RC or Radiant City, into here. Now, if you get a warning that iCloud Drive needs to, you know, move these, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's just not backed up on iCloud anymore. It was when it was on your desktop. But nevertheless, here we are. They're now moved here. And again, I'll check one more time to make sure you see these files and folders. Might not be all of them, but at least some of them, as soon as you click on the map there or the folder for the map. Now, at this point, you're going to be amazed because we just need to play Minecraft. So I'll go ahead and meet you on the main menu to show that these are installed. So here we go, Minecraft is open. Now, at this point, if we click on single player, we'll see our maps. As you can see, we have upwards here, and we have Radiant City. Now, Radiant City is just going to work. When we double-click on this map, it's just going to load right on in. And a lot of maps will work like that. Some maps won't, though, and that's usually because they're for an older version of Minecraft. Now, your two options there. One, you go create a new installation on that page where you open the folder for that version of Minecraft. And then you can just play that map in its native version. That's kind of the recommended way of doing it because it kind of ensures there's not going to be anything broken or anything like that. And if there is something broken, you know it's not because, hello, you know it's not because of uh, that specific world, but it's because, or it's because of that specific world, not because of the version, excuse me. But here we are, we are in Radiant City. I'm a uh, very bad FOV there. But uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to get uh, get wrecked by these spiders. But you can see how cool of a map this is. I mean, it's a city, it's got a subway system, It's it's insane. Uh, this actually might be the subway system here. Oh, no, it's just a canal. Of course it is. So there you go. That is that. Or is this an... Uh, this might be an entrance to the subway system. But this map is just working. There we go. There's the subway. Now, what about the other map? Well, it may also just work. Like I said, a lot of maps will do that. They will just work out of the gate. So you double click on them and they work. And that's what's happening here. But sometimes it'll say, are you sure you want to play this map? It'll give you a warning, something like that, because the map is for an older version of Minecraft. Now, you can proceed through that and just know what I, I know what I'm doing. Continue, I think is what it's called, something like that. And it might break. And if it breaks, that's okay, because you can just remove it from that folder we were in earlier. And it's, it's fine. You can then re-download it and add it back and play in the native version if you want to do that. But here we are. By the way, this is a weird, uh, a weird uh, puzzle pack where you, you can't jump. Yeah. But nevertheless, that is how you can add custom map. I just jumped. How did I do that? Is that that block? I'm guessing that's the block there. Yeah, I think you can jump maybe on that block. Yeah. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, enjoy your maps, all that stuff, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials on Minecraft. We do tons of stuff for every single platform. So be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.